In this video we're going to look at Net Promoter Score and recording the Net Promoter Score as part of your Forms Pro surveys. So if you're not sure about Net Promoter Score, it's basically a way in which to gauge how happy or satisfied your customers are. So you've probably answered a survey and had the Net Promoter Score question on there even if you haven't realised. It's the question that basically asks how likely are you to recommend us to um, your friends or family, that sort of thing. And that scale is a 0 to 10. 0 is important, it is part of that scale. 0 to 10, and depending on what result somebody gives, that is then basically taken in as a calculation, and you take the percentage of all of your promoters, who give 9s and 10s, minus the percentage of all of your detractors, who give a 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or a 0. So let's go ahead and look at a Forms Pro survey, and we'll go ahead and we'll add that Net Promoter Score question. So we're adding a new question type, and that is one of the questions. Let's go ahead and click on that. So there's that question that I was referring to. How likely are you to recommend us to a friend or colleague? So we've got our 0 to 10. 0 being not at all likely, 10 being extremely likely. So you could reword the question slightly, um, but it is a standard question. What you might want to do is rec say how likely are you to recommend our services to a friend or family or our products or whatever it might be, but you want to keep it um, fairly close to that question. Um, You've also got, if I go ahead and add an, another question, there's a suggested question that Forms Pro is providing that is, what is the primary reason for your score? So you could go ahead and, and ask that. Um, you might want to say, right, well, um, if you've given us a specific score, maybe you want to um, ask somebody this question. It might be that you're going to use maybe this field to see if somebody gives nines or tens. Maybe you ask them if you can use that as a quote, that sort of thing. But we've got our question, and again, it's a very specifically worded question for Net Promoter Score. So let's go to a survey that I've already had this Net Promoter Score on there. So here we can see that question again, how likely are you to recommend us to a friend or colleague? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to view the responses. Now we can see here we've got the usual stuff, the invitations, responses, a sentiment, and then we have the NPS score. Now this is basically saying that for all respondents for this specific survey to use that calculation again the percentage of promoters minus the percentage of the detractors is a negative seven. Now, the the overall net promoter score that you get can range between negative 100 and positive 100. Obviously, positive 100 means everybody's giving you 9 and 10, so you're, the, every single customer of yours is a promoter. Not going to happen, not likely at all. Um, minus 100 would be awful because it would mean every single one of your customers was a detractor, meaning everybody gives um, between 0 and 6 on that, on that um, scale. Now, if I go ahead and drill into this a bit further, what we get is a chart that shows the number of each respondent type for the net promoter score. So we've got six detractors, um, we've got five promoters and we've got four passives. And what you're going to get is for each of the responses you'll be able to see what their net promoter score type is, again based on that number. Nines and tens are promoters, seven and eights are passives, and anything below, six or below, is going to be a detractor. So you can see this is going to be helpful in terms of being able to get an overview and an understanding of how happy the respondents are based on this specific survey. But again, this is based on the survey as a whole. If you've got 20 surveys, um, you're going to get a different net promoter score per survey. So Although this is helpful from a survey perspective, you'd need to do a little bit of configuration and, and do a little bit more setup um, within whatever whatever system you're using if you um, are able to take the information and the responses out of CDS and put them into Dynamics 365, whatever it is, SharePoint, whatever you're using. But at the minute, again, this Net Promoter score, this overall um, score of negative seven is for this specific survey, Every server will have its own net promoter score. So we'll look at that in a future video in terms of how you can actually go about getting your overall organization net promoter score. But for now, just know that if you want to capture this, go ahead and make sure you've got that net promoter score question on all of your surveys.
Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.